Welcome back to RBD Block Challenge. Today we are working on block number 13. Lucky 13 was designed by our friend in Australia, fellow quilter Sue Daly, and it's called Double Cross. This is a really fun block to make. It comes together so slick that let's get started. Of course, you've already downloaded your pattern on the Riley Blake Design website and you've cut out all your pieces according to the cutting instructions and we're ready to get started on the four patch. So there's this cute little four patch in all these blocks within the blocks. So we first need to grab our A strips, our C and our F. We're going to put these white cloud strips with each of the color strips, putting them right sides together. We're going to strip piece them. At first, I'm going to press them to make a nice temporary heat adhesive. Make sure you have an accurate fourth inch seam allowance. Snip in between, we're going to press to the dark side. Okay, bring them back to our cutting area and we're going to cut two inch segments. Now they should already be three and a half inches. Make sure they're three and a half inches. Seam down the middle. And now we're going to do two inch segments. Okay. Now we're going to make our four patches. Since you pressed the dark side, once you put them together, your seams should be going opposite, just nest in the middle. Okay, let's go sew our four patches. Clip them all apart and give them a quick press. Okay, all of our squares should meet right there in the middle and they should be three and a half inches square. So do a quick check. If they're showing they're small, that's going to affect the layout of your block, but they should be almost right on. Yeah, looks good. These are all three and a half inches. Put those aside. The next thing we're going to do is grab our E and I block, so E and I. There we go. There are longer ones. E and I. There's two of each. And we're going to grab our B blocks and mark them corner to corner. I just grab one of our Riley Blake Design mechanical pencils. I've already marked these. 
And so for each of these, you need to pay attention which way the B block is supposed to go. Now it's the same for all of these. They're all going this direction. Okay, so these are all going the same direction. We're going to give them a quick press for a temporary adhesive. If you want to throw in a pin, that is perfectly fine to do too. Now this is your sew line. And we are going to sew. Okay, bring it back over here. Let's clip in between here. Now we're going to trim off here down to a fourth inch from the seam. Okay, we'll press these in just a moment. Next, we're going to grab our D and J block. Now, these are going to be opposite of what we just did. So the other ones went this way. These are going this direction. Let's take it to our pressing station, press them real fast for our temporary adhesive. Okay, let's go press these open. All right. Now we are ready to start assembling our block. Get out your pattern, make sure it's nice and handy, and you're gonna get your four patches. Now I would ordinarily just lay everything out on my design board just like this. Just remember that the dark squares are in the corners and you are going to repeat this. It's the same block repeated four times. I'm going to show you how to do it once and then you're going to repeat it three more times. Just be mindful of where the color choice is going. So I'm going to take these over here and I'm going to use the medium blue. So this medium blue is going to go there and you're going to put that on one side. Again, you're going to repeat that twice. So you can put that with the other block. Just showing you how to do one block. So you put the H on the side of that four patch. trim off the end. Let's give it a press. Open that up. Again, following the pattern, the next thing we're going to do is put G on the top. So right sides together. Okay. 
open it up. So we've got this part of the block. The next thing we're going to do is take a J and it's going to go along that bottom. So again, make sure you're going the right direction. You can pin it. I'm just going to sew down the side without pinning. Okay, open it up. Give it a good press. Okay, now we're going to come back here and our last strip, last piece we're going to add to this is going to go right sides together. And let's just sew on down the side. Give it a press, a little press here. Now, this should be five and a half inches square. Just got this little pokey part here sticking out. A little ski wampus, I think, how I sewed it. So I'm just going to trim that off, and that is your block. Now, for the next block, it's going to be just the same, except you're using different colors. It's kind of flipped up. So this one, I'm just going to show you real quick. You start with it flipped up here, just follow the instructions. I'm going to add that. Then you're going to go with your lighter blue there. And then your And then that block is finished. So, I've already previously sewn my blocks to save us time. Again, it comes together so slick. We're just going to assemble our blocks. Just be mindful of the direction they're going. Let's see. That is going this direction. Just opposite. So we want the double cross here. So we've got this cross right here with the navy. And then we have the cross right here with the medium blue. Okay, now we're just going to sew a four patch because really these four little sections go together like a four patch. Now be mindful that this is kind of a Y seam so you want that lined up. So I'm going to just pin that so it lines up perfectly and makes a nice little Y. There is a little bulk but just have your machine ease over that bulk. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, let's flip that over. Right here. And again, here is those where those, where that Y meets. So I'm going to put a little pin there and just ease my machine over that little seam. Let's bring it back over here, open it up. Check out your little Y seam right there. See how it lines up? That's just what we want to see. And now we're going to flip it on top of one another. And we're going to, let's see. 
let's press. Let's see, it naturally kind of wants to go to the dark side, so we're going to help it along. Finger press that. And again, you have these two seams coming together. Just line it up with the pin. And take it to the machine and sew. Okay, let's take a look at all our Y seams. They're looking good. Let's go give it a press. Oh, I love how that block came together so nicely. Now let's take a rotating mat, which was designed by Sue Daly. She has a small and a large, so shout out to Sue Daly for such great rotating mats that we use in all our tutorials. And this is a fun quilt log that she designed. So line your center sections up. And again, there's not much but threads to take off. Oh, just a few more loose threads. Let's pull them off. Oh, I've just got to get this one. This one's going to drive me crazy if I don't. Okay, there we go. And the double cross quilt block is finished. I can't wait to see what Sue Daly does with her block. Join us next time for block number 14.